What is good everybody? It's your boy Jadiro coming back at you with another Fury Warrior guide build video. This is for the Fury Warrior 10.1, 10.15. You know what it is. Let's get right into it. You know it's going to be lit. So today guys, we're going to break it down into certain sections. We're going to start off with defensive cooldowns, defensive cooldowns, stat prio, weapon enchants, rotation demonstration, arena demonstration, and then outro. I want you guys to know I love making videos for you guys like this always. I love making these videos. So let me know in the comments how you feel and if you have any questions. And while you're down there, like and subscribe. It really helps a growing channel like me out. Thank you. All right, guys, here we go. I'm going to break this down into two separate talent trees. Obviously, the Warrior Talent side and the Fury Warrior Talent side. First off, you know what it is. Your number one, Bloodthirst. Right there. Make it your easiest hockey. Then I'm going to jump down here to Rampage. This is the partner in crime to your bloodthirst. Make this your second easiest accessible hockey. Let's go further down the tree here. Recklessness, do not leave home without it. This is part of your burst window, you need this. And I'll show you how I macro this into another move to make it really chunky. Once we get to the bottom here, you can go the route of Stormer Swords and Annihilator if you just wanna be an auto attack boss. But I've switched it up a little bit this time. I go Odin's Fury and Onslaught. You also wanna get Dancing Blades, and tenderize the sole reason i go tenderize guys is because it allows me now to be enraged for two seconds longer so with enraged being up it means you're doing more damage and with it being up for two seconds longer than it was it means you're practically enraged the whole fight which is really good dancing blades is just pretty much a flat damage increase so that's why i go this one all right guys now over to the warrior town side for the offensive cooldowns i go avatar with titan's torment then i go thunderous roar with Thunderous Words. Thunderous Words increases the length of your Thunderous Roar, and it also increases the damage of all your bleed effects by 15% at all times. Odin's Fury is a bleed as well. All right, guys, well, that's the offensive cooldowns. Let's get into the defensive cooldowns next. All right, guys, let's get into the defensive cooldowns here. Let's start with the first one, Enrage Regeneration. This reduces the damage you take by 30%, and it also makes your Bloodthirst, which is your main move, restore 20% of your health. I'll show you how I macro this into another move later, and you'll see how it all comes together. All right, guys, over on this side, let's start with the hybrid ones. I call them hybrids because they kind of do both. They can set you up for an offensive and a defensive, but I, they're, they're really more defensive, so let's start with that. I go Intimidating Shout, so basically what this does is it intimidates your enemy. Basically it fears them away from you and they run in fear for 8 seconds. Uh, it's really good because that can get you out of trouble if you're in a bind or if you're being dogpiled. It's a really good move to pop if you want to get out. It's also a good way to CC the healer if the, CC's, if the healer is going to cast a huge heal and you want to interrupt it, it's a great interrupt. Next hybrid defensive cooldown I want to go is Piercing Howl. So this is basically what enables you to be the greatest sticky fury warrior ever. And being a sticky fury warrior is exactly what you want to be. Piercing Howl slows your enemy, so it helps it helps you stay close to the enemy. And it helps you keep that uptime of damage. It helps you keep that uptime of damage consistent. We've also got Stormbolt, guys. It does what it says in the box. Again, it's great. Just take it. It's a stun. It's a great interrupt. It can stop your enemy from doing damage. Stormbolt's awesome. Now we go down to Bitter Immunity. So this also restores 20% of your health instantly and removes all diseases, poisons, and curses that are affecting you. So uh, over here with the J Enraged Regeneration, I tie these two together to make it like a super macro. I'll show you guys the macros later. Also, don't forget things like Spell Reflection, guys, with the casters out there. This is really cool. I mean, it's kind of hard. You have to really predict and see what the caster's doing before they do it to be able to predict and reflect the spell. But I recommend you take it. You might get lucky. Also, if you are that good and you can and you can time the spell, then uh, I, I suggest you take it. It's really good. To be clear, I throw it on periodically to reflect spells um, in the hopes that if, you know, like a Demos casting a Chaos Bolt or something like that, I have the chance to reflect it. We can't forget about Rally Cry, guys. This is great because it increases your maximum health. I also tie this into Bitter Immunity and Enraged Regeneration. Again, I'll show you in the macros how this works. Another bread and butter heal for you guys is Impending Victory. It restores 30% of your health. That's what it does. Last but not least, guys, Berserker Rage. Don't leave home without it. This gets you out of in-caps. With the amount of CC in the game right now, you want to go everything and anything that can get you out of CC. And with that being said, don't forget to grab your medallion. So before we end the cooldown sections, let's go into the PvP talents. 
So the three PvP talents you're going to want to take, guys, at all times as a Fury Warrior, in my opinion, is Warbringer, Slaughterhouse, and Enduring Rage. Why Enduring Rage? This is clutch, is because they just buffed it so that whenever you're CC'd and you come out of CC, you get Recklessness for four seconds. So basically, you have more uptime, more damage every time you come out of a CC. All right, guys, that's all the talents I can give you. Let's go into the part I never mentioned before in any of my guide videos, the macros. All right, guys, this is number one. This is my charge hamstring move. So if you guys wanna copy this, pause the screen right now and you can copy this. Basically what this does is when you charge and you double tap charge, you also hamstring. So you don't have to hamstring and charge on two different hotkeys. The next one you wanna go, I call Odin's Roar. What this is, this is Thunderous Roar and Odin's Fury at the same time. So what this allows you to do is have it in a cast sequence and cast Odin's Fury and Thunderous Roar with a double click. That's it right here. I'll show you how this works in the rotation demonstration. The next macro here is called Heroic. It's Heroic Leap without having to double click. Basically what you do is you can just click and Heroic Leap. Go ahead and copy it. Next one is Recklessness and Avatar. So it pops my Avatar and it pops my recklessness at the same time. So this is my burst window I keep talking about. I'll show you guys in the rotation demonstration how this works. But what this does is it allows me to double click and I can pop avatar and recklessness at the same time. Pause the screen now to copy. Defensive macro, reboot, the one I've been talking about. So this is in rage regeneration, the one that restores your health, bitter immunity, which restores your health and rally cry, which increases your maximum health. So basically when you hit this, you get healed and you get more health. So basically you become a beast. Well, that's it for the macros. Let's get into the stat prio next. So for stat prio guys, you wanna go versatility, mastery, critical strike, then haste. The amount of haste you get from just being a Fury Warrior, you don't really need to invest too much into it. But I suggest highly that you go versatility, mastery. And while we're here, let's talk about weapon enchants. So, on my main hand, I go Wafting Devotion, which gives you crazy haste. And then I go Sulfic Devotion, which increases your main attribute, which is strength, which increases your damage. So, Wafting Devotion and Sulfic Devotion. I think that's how you say it. Now, on to my favorite part, the rotation demonstration. Hang tight, guys. Well, as you can see, it's a busy day here in uh, Valdraken, so let's, uh, let's do our best. So, I got my stopwatch timer here, guys. We'll time it for a minute. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna charge in, pop my Avatar macro and my Odin's Fury macro. And then I'll just do pump and dump, Bloodthirst Rampage. I'll sneak in the execute where I can and the onslaughts where I can. And then we'll look at the damage chart over here at the bottom. All right, so without further ado, let's get it. All right, boom, Avatar. Let's pop Odin's Fury, Thunder's Roar, and then we're just gonna pump and dump. Let's get that onslaught in there, that execute. Pump, dump. Bloodthirst, 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 Rampage, Execute, Boom. That's it guys, pretty simple rotation. Just keep these moves up at all time. And if you look over here, you can see the rotation. All right, doing some damage. Get that onslaught in. Almost at a minute. All right. So right here, you can see, don't worry about the execute damage because we won't be able to get that many executes in the arena. But the rampage and the bloodthirst damage is off the charts. Awesome. Auto attack damage, great. Even onslaught is doing significant damage, which is awesome. And then you got your bleeds down here. These bleeds are way more significant actually when you're in the arena. And you guys will see that in my demonstration later. But yeah, damage speaks for itself, guys. Now for the best part of the video, the arena demonstration. Hang tight. All right, here we go. We got solo shuffle scenario. Go easy on me because I'm recording this live. So trying to talk through it is hard. But here we go anyways. 
All right, what we're gonna do is probably wanna go in the Arms Warrior and then switch to the Mage. I'm gonna play, I'm gonna hang tight with my team. I guess they want me to go in first. I'm okay with that. All right, we go in, we do our macro. I'm gonna stay glued to this, this mage because they do a lot of damage. All right, try and get the stun off. Nice, gonna switch to the priest here. I'm gonna fear him. There we go. Damage speaks for itself, guys. That's how it's done. That's the end of the video, guys. I hope you enjoy. I hope I help somebody out there get better at their Fury Warrior game. And if you guys like what you see, like and subscribe. As you know, I am a growing channel and I want to make more videos like this for you. So that would really help. That's it for me, guys. Your boy Jadiro signing out. Peace.